Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's going on Facebook group? DIY18650. Just want to say how's it going? Hope everyone's having a great day. I got my spot welder here. Little 555 timer unit I'm going to test out. If it works out, I'll put it on here. I know it works, but I haven't tested it actually on the welder. So I had my old unit I was going to use and I totally forgot I had the 555 timer unit. So I'll put it on there and test it out today. And uh Guys, in the Facebook group, we know the welders just work absolutely amazing. I'm not using a driver or nothing, but, you know, the Avalanche, the K-Air, nothing doesn't seem to be bad. If you're in the group, you know I did thousands of welds with both welders on the desk or on the bench and made some packs and stuff. All my MOSFETs always come from shitty-ass cheap speed controllers, and I have two of these, so I'm going to actually make two identical ones. Uh, and I'll lay them out like on the grid and everything and draw it out so everyone can go copy exactly the way this is if you want to do it or, you know, get an idea of how it is. A lot of the guys in the group, DIY 18650, know that the welds are just as good as a K-Weld or Maltrax because I've had both. Excuse me. I've had both. Even the way I've made this, you know, the Maltrax just has a trace on the bottom. Aluminum uh, input just... Uh, haggardly here haggardly uh riveted to it so that's just what we got going on here on uh uh the spot welder here too got a bunch of thick nickel uh spread out pinched down by the aluminum plate and uh all of the source pins soldered together everything done right and tight you know how we like to do it we're just using this board this pcb board not for its traces but for the actual holes and its grid pattern the traces are, these boards are cheap and notoriously bad for the traces just like falling off if you aren't skilled at using cheap knock -off, cheap Chinese products. So uh, I just put my own trace on the bottom here for the gates. And I actually hooked a line up to it and held it on there <clears throat> and uh, used a multimeter and got continuity. You just hit 12 volts and positive and got continuity between the two rails. Input and output. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys sub up, like, and subscribe. I'll be making a ton of great videos. I got uh, the other speed controller there, so I'll get the exact same MOSFETs. They're, uh, they are 110N756. They're 440 peak. I got all the components to make this twice. You know, no problem. I will draw it all out and get everything set up so you guys can copy it yourself or get your own ideas. Cheers, guys.